joined by first team manager Richard Kill and assistant Matt Burner following today's last golf's 2 1 defeat to AFC Dumb Small. Richard, must, must be crop gutting that, the way that's ended today. Very difficult to find the words at the moment. That's what to say. But I will say one thing Dunstable are well drilled, a very good team. And I thought we did everything after the last two games that we've had and the score lines. The boys were very disciplined, we defended really well. And you know, the, the, I think we'd have taken a point at the end, and then to concede in the hundredth minute was heartbreak, it was just heartbreak. And the ball bounced luckily for him, came off someone's knee, put the striker through, and the rest is history. But yeah, it's difficult, but you know, we've got four games, and we have to stay positive. There's still 12 points to play for. And if we got 12 points, that would put us on something like 41. If we went down with that, then I'd be disappointed. So if the, if the performance levels are like they were today, for the next four, I still think we'll be fine. I still believe we'll be fine. Yeah, you must be pleased, Rich. Like we're sort of first off, Josh has put a really good finish in. We've got in one nil up, and some really good saves by George and last ditch defending. And second half, it was a bit more sort of organised in terms of us, and then trying to catch them on the break a little bit more. So there was a lot of sort of positives to take from it, really. Although we've lost the game. Yeah, there's loads of positives. Like, you know, I said to the boys, I said before the game, I had a word with a few of them, and young Josh had sat on the bench the last game. Because the first game he came in, he looked really threatening when he was going forward. And I had a chat with him this week about what the expectations were for him. He's got back in the team, and I told him to be more direct and believe he can score. And here you go. And he did that. But I shouldn't have to put people on the bench to do that. They should want to do that every game. So fair play to him. He got he came back into the team and he got he got a goal. So and just uh, go on. yeah, just just on that matter. Say Richard said there about Josh coming in and obviously. Um, other Josh at right back has, has come in and started today. What was the, the sort of obviously, I presume game, Gabe's injured, but both new players came coming into the 11 today, did really well. Yeah, look, I think Josh, he's been a bit, a bit unlucky this season because he, he had a bit of a run around Christmas. I think he scored against Barton, he was looking really good, and then he got injured for quite a bit, and he's had to wait patiently. Look, that right back position has probably been one of our strongest positions this year with, with Albert, with Phoenix, but with Gabe. But with him, with them out, he got an opportunity. I thought, I thought he was fantastic today, Josh. Um, so he's really given us something to think about. You know, Josh, again, winger Josh to come on. Um, have done really well as well. So that's what we want. We want players to give us something to think about when we put them on the pitch. So, so fair play to those boys. The, the changes that we made today, they, they paid off, but unfortunately we just couldn't cross the line with the result. So, so with that, a lot of the fans around us today were quite impressed with um, with Leo it sort of moving to the 10 role. He's often played on the left wing in recent games, but moving a bit more centrally, sort of got, got us up the pitch. He must have been really happy with how he performed today. That, that's his natural position. And, and obviously when we brought him in, it was to fill the gap that um, we had when, Le when Rio left, sorry, and so we thought we'll play him out there and, and he was doing well, but he wants to pick up the ball in the middle of the pitch, he wants to make things happen, he wants to get us up, he wants to win fouls and he did that really well and, and it's difficult because we've got Ed in there as well, who Ed's a very good player and, and it's difficult when you've got good players playing well, it's difficult to fit them all in, we're the ones that have to make that horrible decision, but Leo paid that decision with a good performance today and, and we'll have to think about moving forward you know whether we keep him in there whether we can put players you know we've got to get the best players on the pitch we can in their best positions and, and Leo's done very well today. Coming back to you Rich like we've got a fair few injuries at the moment Matt's obviously said there about a few players being out like Albert and Gabe being two of them but also Sam as well is there any sort of estimated return time on any of the players as well as it was, it was it was touch and go whether we had Albert back today I was hoping he would. He saw a doctor the weekend and they were confident he'd be back today, but he's not. So I'm confident he'll be back on Saturday. Phoenix should be back hopefully this weekend. I think Gay, I'm not so sure about him now. I think he's got to rest up because his Achilles is hurting him. But look, if we can get those two back and with what we've got, I mean, I'm very conscious today. We've got Lamre, you know, he's, he's been a warrior against today, so is Erin. And we need to rest them up. You know, we've got five, five days, five days for the next game. And we've just got to put the best team we can on the pitch at every, every every game that comes up. That's it, simple as that. We will do that. So looking at 12 points to play for now for four games and obviously with the two teams below us well, before kickoff today, both both winning it makes it all the more important going forward in the last four games and sort of looking at it. So is there anything you sort of can just sort of do differently or just keep keep going and keep trying to get well, the performances up? You know, what I think the last two games were, we were the we were the Kempston Rovers of two and a half three months ago. Today, 
we were the Kempston Rovers of the last month, two months, six weeks. So we've got to beat this Kempston Rovers for the next four games. We'll make sure, me and Matt will make sure we get into the boys and make sure they do do that. You know, that's the important part of it. I, I believe, and I've said this, we can beat any team in this league on our day, and we've done, we have done that. And, and respect to some of the Dunstable lads, spoke to me after, said that you play like that, you'll start with one of their management team, came over to me a minute there, said, yeah, fair play to you guys, you play some really good football. So look, we've got to keep going, we've just got to keep going. Four games, 12 points, you know, it's not over yet. Let me tell you that, it's not over yet. It's the roller coaster will continue. Cheers,